Hi guys, Kristen Gigi here with Super Savvy Traveler. She's going to be running throughout, so uh, try to ignore her like we do. Anyway, um, hey, uh, thanks for all your comments on the Tucci thing. Um, that, <laughs> that brought up a lot of things. But uh, anyway, we've set our piece on that and we're finished with that. And I never like to leave with a bitter aftertaste. So I wanted to give you an option that we really loved as far as, you know, watching episodes on TV that take you into Italy and show you some of the sights and everything else. And I have to say, we loved James May's Our Man in Italy series, which you can get on Amazon Prime, I know. I don't know if you can get it on regular Amazon. But anyway, go find it. It's totally worth whatever it costs to download that series. It's really, really fun. So there are five reasons, probably more, but five that we can think of that we love James May when he takes us on a tour through Italy. And, uh, you know, not including the fact that, of course, the cinematography is stunning. And, of course, the drone work is fantastic and the lighting and everything else is just beautiful and of course Italy just be in Italy right it's hard to take a bad picture or a video in Italy but these guys really really knocked it out of the park with the cinematographer so the first reason we love James May is that he is affable meaning he he's loves to make people laugh he's fun to be around he's a fun guy he's also self-effacing he's poking fun at himself all the time um, one of the first ones we saw was when he was in Milan with his personal shoppers, which was hilarious. Um, I won't go into details because I want you to see it. It's just really, really funny. And, um, you know, he's just always looking for the fun side in things, which we really, really love. And I think in life, that's very important. Now, the second thing we love about him is he doesn't take himself too seriously. In fact, I don't think he takes any of this very seriously, which makes it way more fun and way more interesting for me. When somebody's too serious on something, I'm like, ugh, I don't like that. You know, I like I like fun, I like uh, unserious. I like, let's look at the fun side of things. Let's go have a good time. And that's what he does while still entertaining and, and uh, enlightening you on the various different aspects. The thing that we love about him is that he takes an actual genuine interest in the people and the subjects that he's addressing. So when he's with somebody, you can tell he's with that person, he's not, acting. He's not uh, putting it on for the cameras. Genuinely interested in that person. And when he's talking about these subjects, he's genuinely interested in the subjects in whatever aspect he's talking about. Whether it be something funny or something um, unusual or something fascinating, he just is genuinely interested. And I suspect that he probably had a hand in choosing the places and the aspects, meaning like what part of it, you know, he went to a nougat factory. I've never seen a, a video on the Italian nougat. Maybe I'm sheltered, but I haven't seen that. He also went to Cremona because he's a woodworker and he showed us all about how these beautiful violins are made and how these little teeny tiny lathes are used to actually create these pieces of art. And then he had somebody play it, which to me is just lovely because I am a violinist as well. And so that is amazing. I have gone to Cremona many, many years ago and it was just unbelievably beautiful. The There's luthier shops all over the area. There's violins everywhere, cellos and everything else. It just is a lovely experience if you're a musician. And if you're not and you just love the arts, go there. It is brimming with art. The fourth reason we love James May is because he covers fascinating aspects. It's not always the same thing. It's not like, okay, here's the local produce of the area. Here's the population of the area. He goes in and he looks at something different. Like, for example, the Cremona thing. Not many people have done anything on Cremona. It's a little harder to get to, but it's stunning. And when you really look at the woodworking that's involved in those violin making shops, it really is quite amazing. I have a, a soft spot in my heart for woodworking too. Even though I, I don't do it, I tend to go diving into ruins and purchasing old dilapidated uh, chestnut furniture and giving it to Antonio in the village. He's a master furniture maker and he fixes it all up for me and then we can make it available to other people. So um, that's something that's near and dear to my heart even though I am not an expert at all. And the fifth and I think most important reason that we love James May and this series is because after you see these episodes, you wanna go there. You're, it, it incites curiosity, it incites interest. It, it makes you go, gosh, I think I'd have a good time in that place. You know, specifically like in Cremona or some of the other places in Milan with his personal shoppers and, you know, all these other places. These are things that maybe we haven't seen aspects of. And they're interesting and they're exciting and they make it so that you really wanna go and see for yourself. To me, that makes a really good presenter is somebody that incites curiosity, it incites an interest and you really wanna go check it out for yourself. So 
definitely go over to Amazon and get the James May Our Man in Italy series. You will not be disappointed. It's perfect for sitting in front of the fire next to the Christmas tree on a cold winter night and just enjoying the beautiful cinematography and enjoying James May, who's always very enjoyable. So I hope that helps you guys. See you soon.